The first time I found one, I'd been walking to school. It was hard to see against the concrete, but when I looked closer, I saw that it was a nice color, the kind of blue I'd used to color the sky with back in elementary school. I forgot about it when I got to school. It was a nice day, but I didn't go off campus for lunch. There was no one to go with. Exactly one week later, I found another piece. This one said seven on the back. It was still in my pocket when I got home, so I just left it on my dresser. Then, when I was on my way to the grocery store, I found another one. They were in the weird places and looked like they'd been there for a long time, like I was the only one that noticed them. They were the only thing interesting about my life. School was boring. No one talked to me besides to ask about homework. So I just sat there, waiting for the clock to get to 3.30. On the weekends, I didn't have much to do. I didn't like being at home because my mom would ask why I wasn't out with my friends. So I usually went to the park. It was quiet there, with only the squirrels around to keep my company. Whoever was dropping these puzzle pieces must really get around, because they left one on my bench too, and no one ever comes to this place. And I'm running through these walls. I don't even know if I... Or maybe they were a squirrel. That would make sense. I wasn't really sure why I was collecting all these pieces. I really just had nothing else to do. And, you know, it was a puzzle. I was kind of curious to see what picture it was going to make. So far, though, all I had was blue. I started getting a little creeped out. It seemed more than a coincidence that these pieces were in the places that they usually hung out. There's this little dump up past my house, and sometimes when I get really frustrated and angry, I come up here and just break stuff. And even there, I found a piece. I didn't know what it was about me that people didn't like. I mean, I'm nice, I'm not ugly. I might not get the best grades, but I'm not stupid either. But no one ever asked me to hang out after school, and no one ever chooses me for group projects in class. I think some of my teachers don't even know my name. Even at my job, I work alone. They send me out to all these parks with a rake and tell me to clean up, but there are never any leaves on the ground, so I don't know what they want me to clean. I just rake the sand. It's kind of calming, but completely useless. I wish I had some coworkers here. We could rake sand together, share stories about our lives, and become besties. I just kept finding pieces everywhere. I didn't know who was leaving them. There wasn't a pattern to the places I found them, and no pattern to the numbers. I didn't know how many more pieces were out there. The whole thing was a mystery. Maybe I could ask people at school if they'd seen any of the pieces around. We could all look together and get all the parts of the puzzle. I asked my brother if that was a good idea, and he said it was lame. He said I had no social skills at all. It was true. For me, carrying a conversation was like trying to ride on a locked up bicycle. I just didn't go anywhere. A few months passed and I hadn't found a piece since the one in the sand. I was beginning to lose all hope. These pieces made me feel like a part of something bigger, something greater than myself. For an instant, I forgot about my lonesome, isolated existence. But after the pieces stopped appearing, I slowly drifted back into my shell of depression. My spirits were lifted, however, when I found another piece while on my favorite hike in the hills. Yet, it lacked the same meaning as the ones I had found before. So I decided to give up. Fuck this shit. That's a lot.
cute, that's all I got. <laughs> Miko Hadishian, 12th grade, Berkeley High School, VIHS, uh, Tufts University Class of 2020. <laughs> There's an elephant, I can't do it. <laughs> Ezra Ziegler, 12th grade, IB, uh, UC Santa Barbara, 2020. Uh, <laughs> 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 Bro!